Yo, what is up, guys? And today we're gonna be reviewing episode 93 of Samurai Jack season 5. As we all saw now, Aku is pretty depressed now because it's been 50 years and Jack has not died yet. And Aku is just probably there wondering when is this all gonna like die already because he even was so depressed that he has a therapist to talk about his problems about the samurai. Later on in the episode, we see a wolf-like creature that's battling some alien predators. So basically, this is just a way of foreshadowing a future event that is going to take place later on in this episode. Which was obviously when Jack is about to fight the seven daughters of a coup. And as we all saw, Jack was driving through, like I don't know exactly where he was driving through. And then he got attacked first by some cyclone uh, droid bug and then... The seven daughters of a coup came and then the samurai is now haunted by his past self in which the old samurai jack is convincing him to just kill himself and join with the ancestors but as we saw jack does not believe this is the way and he does believe that he will find a way out so he goes on to run into a temple and if you guys watch the previous four seasons of samurai jack you would realize that this is a reference to the episode um the light versus the shadow, I think it was something along those lines. Because basically, the girls are cool, are dressed in all black, and uh, the samurai is basically within the light side. So as the episode goes on, we see a glimpse of that wolf-like creature battling his own foes. And this is an homage to Jack fighting the seven daughters of Akum. And as we saw when Jack was talking to his past self, he is strongly against killing if it's flesh. So then when he's fighting the seven daughters of Haku, by mistakenly he thought it was made up of nuts and bolts. But then he slashes her throat to see blood come out to which he realizes, oh shit, this is a human. So then he has to make a decision whether he should take her or he should leave and uh, escape this temple-like building. But throughout this episode, I must say the action scenes were pretty great. As we can see, Gendy has truly perfected the art of action with this new season of Samurai Jack and I just hope he keeps up all the good work man. Although the only downside was the voice of Aku, we all know the voice actor for Aku Mako has passed away so they can't exactly perfect it but so that's kind of the only disappointing thing about this episode but I guess we will get used to the voice of Aku. And as we found out from this episode, apparently Aku has not shown himself for a couple of years because he doesn't believe he needs to fight Jack anymore and he sends out a mercenary or a droid to kill him. And also, Aku doesn't know that the samurai does not have his sword anymore. So that'll be interesting because we all know that Aku is finally and probably going to face off Jack in the last episode probably. So we're all just wondering, will he find a sword, his sword by that time? Or, I don't know, how is he also going to deal with the seven daughters of Aku? But anyways... At the end of the episode, he jumps off and he like, jumps into water, like a river. And then there's blood flowing from his body, so he's seriously damaged. And then the screen transitions into how the battle occurred between the wolf predator and his or her foes. And as we saw, he was also damaged. So that's basically a reference to how Jack is coping with his situation. And then the episode pretty much ended. So yeah. I will see you guys next week for the next review of Samurai Jack Season 5. If you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, stay awesome.